girls, can you tell that spring is coming? Oh, I love the spring breeze. As spring is coming, more and more exciting things are happening, so don't miss out. Here are some announcements for you all. Kinder to third graders, today we are having our Golden Bell Bible Quiz. Ding, ding, ding. Woo How many of you guys study for the Golden Bell Quiz? Awesome. I can't wait to see who survives till the last question. I hope you all get to ring the Golden Bell. Number two, are you still attending Sunday worship at home? Oh, then you're missing out on so much. Please come to our in-person worship and enjoy all our fun activities and worship with all our friends. There is so much joy when we worship together. Number three, today is the last day for VBS early registration. If you haven't paid the registration fee yet, today is the last day to pay, so please come visit our church and pay the registration fee at our VBS registration booth. From tomorrow, the registration fee goes to $75 as regular registration starts. There are so many things coming up. Aren't you all so excited? Great! Today, Pastor Sharon is going to tell us a Bible story about when God encouraged Joshua and promised to be with him. Shall we go worship now? Great. Come on, everybody. Let's go worship. The splendor of a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice all the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries to hide And trembles at his voice Trembles at his voice How great is our God Sing with me how great Thank you. 
Hi, boys and girls. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday worship time. Today's Bible passage comes from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Amen. God's people were near the land of Canaan. This was the promised land, the place God said Abraham's descendants would one day live. The Israelites had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. The older generation had died. Moses, their leader, had died too. And now it was time for the remaining people to go into the land. God chose Joshua to be the new leader of Israel. It was a big job, but God encouraged Joshua. He promised to give Joshua success in the land. God said, no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you, just as I was with Moses. I will not leave you or abandon you. Then God said, be strong and courageous. God wanted Joshua to lead the people into the land because he had promised it to his people. God said, Be strong and very courageous to obey everything Moses taught you. Study, remember, and obey the commands written in the book of instruction. If you do this, you will be successful in whatever you do. God encouraged Joshua again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I, the Lord your God, will be with you wherever you go. So Joshua sent a message throughout the Israelites' camp. Get ready! We are going to cross the Jordan River and take this land. God is giving it to us, just like he promised. The Israelites agreed and got ready. We will do everything you have commanded us, they told Joshua. We will go everywhere you send us. We will obey you like we obeyed Moses. We trust that God will be with you like he was with Moses. God encouraged Joshua and promised to be with him as he led the Israelites into the Promised Land, where they would be victorious and find rest. We have victory over sin and rest for our souls in Jesus, who is always with us and leads us into the Promised Land of God's kingdom. Moses is now 120 years old and unable to lead the Israelites. God has told Moses that he would not cross the Jordan River and enter the Promised Land. Do you remember the story? Now, Moses announced that Joshua would be the next leader. And God told Joshua that wherever his foot went, the land would be given to the people. God again promised to give them the land which he promised Abram a long time ago. Over and over, God told Joshua to be strong and courageous because God knew that taking the land was going to be hard. There were big cities like Jericho. There were fierce people who lived in those cities. Joshua was going to be leading the people to do some hard things. He would need to be strong and courageous. If you were Joshua, how would you feel? Excited or afraid? Joshua faced many fears through the years it took to take over the land for the nation of Israel. And when the light did go out, when things went wrong, God told Joshua that there was sin in the camp. When you sin, are you walking straight with Jesus? Or have you turned to the right or left away from Him? How do we get back to walking straight with Jesus? Yes, you could ask for forgiveness and obey His commands. We can either serve and obey the Lord, or we can serve ourselves and do what we want. Conquering the land was hard work. It involved faith. There are many things in life today that are hard to do. We would much rather watch TV than clean our rooms. We would rather play games and not do homework. Watching YouTube and playing games are easy. 
God doesn't call His people to an easy life, though. He asks us to do hard things. He asks us to choose the desires of others before our own. He asks us to be holy and pure as He is. He asks us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow Him. God wants us to be fishers of men, not fish. Jesus didn't want to die on the cross. In fact, He asked God if He really had to do it. But instead, Jesus chose to do the hard things. Instead of following what He wanted, He chose to obey. Because Jesus trusted God completely, and because of His obedience, we receive salvation. God encouraged Joshua and promised to be with him as he led the Israelites into the Promised Land, where they would be victorious and find rest. We have victory over sin and rest for our souls in Jesus, who is with us always and lead us into the Promised Land of God's Kingdom. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Help us to remember that when the dark and stormy nights come into our life, you are there and we have no need to fear. We put our faith and trust in your promise to be with us when we are afraid. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Memorize Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 by April 3rd. You are the light of the world. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. 너희는 세상의 빛이라. 마태복음 5장 14절 말씀. Amen. Someone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10, 10 verse 13. Amen. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Amen. Everyone Everyone who calls
calls on the name of the Lord will be safe. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Amen. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Amen. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. 누구든지 주의 이름을 부르는 자는 구원을 얻으리라. 로마서 10장 13절 말씀 아멘. Let's pray the Lord's prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 